Hello everybody, this is Momo from the Momo Zone and here I am today and today's episode is going to be called It's All About the Hair. Usually it's about my hair, but apparently today it's definitely going to be about his hair. Check out this hairdo. Well, I've seen a lot of do's in my life, but this is the first time I see a www dot stamped into someone's head. And uh, he's walking around, and it's not just anybody. Jonathan Goulet, AKA the Road Warrior. How you doing, my friend? I'm very good. Thank All you. right, perfect. So, um, are you feel comfortable that we should talk in English, or would you rather me talk to you in French? No, in English, that, that is going to be good. It's going to be good because you yeah. can practice your English this yes, way. Yes, yes. Jonathan over here happened to come down here, so Krila uh, got together and did some a couple of shots. This guy is part of the UFC. He's one of the top 20 guys in the world for this mixed martial art kind of fighting. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Mixed martial art is the, the, the new sport in the, in the world uh, that's growing up so, so fast. And here uh, in Montreal, we are going to be, you are going to be able to, uh, to see the first uh, UFC uh, in Canada. So uh, that is going to be an historical moment. And, and you know, I'm a part of that historical moment. All of you guys who do not know what the UFC is, this is some ultimate fighting stuff where people like the road warrior here, they get into a kind of a locked rink, right? You're fenced in there and you're, you're playing with many martial arts and you guys are in there, so what's the rules? Whoever drops first, give us a little vibe on that. We, we have tons of rules, you know, we have to respect that because uh, now it's a sport. Before, you know, many years ago, they were trying to, to, uh, to tell to people that Jiu-Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, was better than other martial arts. They were doing some match like a, box, a boxer against a kickboxer or boxer against a, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, uh, fighter, you weren't able to to bite, to to poke in the eye, to to pinch, and that's it. That was the only rule. Okay. Yeah. Now there's a, a tons of rule. You know, we we have to be careful to to respect those. Uh, if you if you don't want to to be disqualified. So this is serious fighting. It's not like the WWF no, where everybody's no, no. there. So when you hit, you're hitting for real. You really, yeah, yeah. That's a it. And, and, and guys, uh, this is happening at the Bell Center in Montreal on Saturday and it's already sold out, like 22,000 people are coming to this thing. They're going to be watching this and he's going to be in there bloodthirsty doing what he's doing. As you know, I always like to pass a message, an important message. In this case, when I was talking to this guy, I was saying, damn, it takes discipline. You got to have discipline to go out there and do anything you want. Even if you wanted to open up a pizza parlor tomorrow morning, you have to have the discipline. So now let's talk a little bit about that. When you're studying more than one art, it's like having, like you got like four full-time jobs, yes. basically because, so how do you do that? Do you separate, you do a little bit every day? Like explain to me your process so like people out there can understand when they have a dream, what the hell do they do to organize themselves to make this happen? Before I didn't have any schedule, that was hard for me because uh, I, I was getting, uh, I, I was coming back home uh, and I was really tired and and uh, I was doing, you know, all my training, uh, in, in, not in a proper way, you know. Uh, I, I was, um, I, I, that was, I, that was bad because uh, I almost injured myself. And but now I need a schedule. So in some days of the week. Uh, I'm going to do, uh, you know, s some like um, m with my coach. Uh, I, I was doing uh, three days of Muay Thai, and uh, and he was he was there at every sparring. Um, uh, in other days, I was uh, doing uh, boxing or uh, jujitsu, and so, you know, you have to to do a schedule, a, a great schedule, and to, you have to be disciplined, you know, because if you don't go to your training, you, you maybe you're going to lose your fight. And you're training five days a week, six, how does this work? Uh, six days a week. Six days a week. My training for my fight, especially called fight, uh, I'm training uh, six days a week, twice a day. And you're on the, the eating schedule, the whole lot Yes, yes, right? yeah. uh, I'm, I'm used to walk at uh, almost 200 and, and I'm fighting at 170. So I have to follow a big diet. So right now, if you, uh, if you show me a piece of cake, I'm going maybe to jump 
on it. Like, you know, <laughs> we we were talking Don't about discipline. We, we were we were talking about discipline. So I'm I'm not going to do that because uh, tomorrow, uh, you know, as we are talking, tomorrow is going to uh, to be the way, and so I have to to do my weight. I have to. Uh, oh, I'm almost done done for the first time ever because of the discipline. Uh, I only have maybe six pounds to lose tomorrow in the sauna, so which is good. This is massive, massive discipline, people, because we're not talking about just training for the individual fights. Like, how many different, tell these people how many different things you know how to do. I'm doing uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai, uh, a little bit of box, uh, and you know, I have to do wrestling. And I have five things to do, all those, and the other is it's a uh, strength. I have a strength coach, it's a pardon, pardon me for my English. Uh, constantly physique, yeah. yeah, exactly to build, to build up your strength. Yeah, and, and and when you when you when you're doing this, uh, you're fighting. Are you using all these at the same time? Yeah, during a fight, it's it's we have to mix everything. You know, it's for that. It's the mixed martial arts. Hybriding people. This is when you take things and you start to hybrid them. You are the ultimate. You're like a human machine. You condition yourself physically, mentally. And then you go out there, you set yourself up for that fight, and even when you're fighting, the discipline comes up to the maximum hilt because you have to keep on going until you can't go on anymore. And that's knowing when to say when, or knowing when to not go into the defeat zone. You know what I mean? Because you never know, right? Yeah, you never know. If you had to say one thing to some people out there about being disciplined, like, kiss the pants, like that. La discipline. C'est la clé du succès. That, that's the key of the success. You know, we, without discipline, you you're not going to be able. You're going to be always late to to you at your job, and maybe you're going to lose your job. I think you're for sure you're going to lose your job. That since I'm doing mixed martial art, uh, I'm more disciplined, and you know that changed all my life. I have schedule with my daughter, uh, with uh, you know with everybody. Uh, you know. We need schedule. I, I, I like to be, you know, free and don't think about things, but that's happened only after my fight. But you know, when you have work to do, when you have to live, when you have to be a good father, you need discipline. Do you ever feel like giving up sometimes? Uh, I won't, but uh, I, I, uh, you know, in the same time, you know, I'm, I'm talking to myself and uh, I say, no, no, fuck yours, man. You have a fight coming up, uh, you know, go. Go in the gym, go in the gym and you know, train. So you kick your own ass yeah. when you're feeling it's, like you're it, down. It's better because uh, when my coach is kicking my ass, that's, that's hard and <laughs> that, that's hurt. <laughs> That's it. So, okay, yeah, because the coach is sitting right on the other side. He's like, come, come over here and say hello, dude. Come over here. What's your name, my friend? Olivier. Olivier. All right. Oliver, my friend. Check him out. <laughs> this is the coach. This is the man that beats the shit out of this guy yes. in order to get him ready for the fight. So, I try it. <laughs> talk to me a little. How long have you been doing this? Oh, Thai boxing, 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. And that's your specialty. So, yeah. And, and you, you, so you've been training him and you're getting him ready for this fight. Yeah, we just started like in December. But after that, I moved to. I went to Thailand okay. for a month and a half. Okay. And when I came back, we started to train for the fight. So. And you're fighting. And by the way, he is fighting uh, some guy that I can't even pronounce his name. So you can pronounce it for me. Uh, my my opponent is going to be Kuniyoshi Ironaka. Okay, and this guy's from Japan. Yes, from Japan. He has a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and a black belt in. Uh, you study how he fights, you've looked at tapes and all kinds of stuff to check out his style sure, and whatnot. Sure. I, I saw his tape, uh, his fights uh, only once and, and I, let, I let my, my coaches, uh, uh, you know, watching the, the rest, you know. They, oh, they, they figure it out for you. Yeah, yeah, we they try to. <laughs> Dude, that is amazing. People, that is called efficiency. You got to be efficiency. Like in this case, this is a serious fight, worldwide status stuff. Total pro coaches and stuff, but when you're just starting out out there, it could be a friend that helps you out. Even it doesn't matter if you're starting a lemonade stand. You got to have the passion to go out there and believe that you can get stuff done. This man and this guy is at the end, at the ultimate tip of what we are talking about when it comes to discipline. So, dude, I want to thank you for taking the time. I know that you got to go train and uh, for this fight, and I wish you the absolute best. 
Thank you. Um, and, and, and you as well. Keep yeah, kicking his you. ass. I know he's going to do great, <laughs> and I'm going to be out there rooting for you. And uh, man, this is an incredible hairdo. And you guys can check out this guy's endorsed by uh, mmmfightshop.ca. And it's a shop where you can get all the cool clothes and all the fighting gear and all the stuff that's uh, hooked up with the UFC. And um, hey, check it out, man. And check out the Road Warrior. Jonathan Goulet. Uh, I have a word to say to uh, check out uh, my, my new website. Uh, I'm going to have my website real soon, but you know, uh, jonathangoulet.com, that is going to be uh, amazing. We are going to have nice, nice pictures and you know, nice video. On, oh, on that dude, website. this is what we're talking about. And hopefully he'll let me make some videos for him for that website. So <laughs> you have a great day. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Peace out.